Hi, I'm Terry Schmidt, bringing you practical tips to overcome the most common strategic planning mistakes. Today's topic, self-facilitation. It's usually a big mistake for executives to facilitate their own strategic planning sessions. It's much wiser to bring in a neutral outside consultant to guide the process. Now I know this may sound self-serving, but there's some solid reasons why. First, most executives don't have the expertise to be effective at facilitation. And during a planning session, there's multiple roles being performed, and it's hard to be a contributor to the process at the same time you're facilitating the process. So a wise executive brings in some help for the same reason that a wise dentist brings in another professional when he has to have his tooth pulled. Second, effective facilitators can open up the group dynamics and get a better level of participation, which usually results in better outcomes for the plan. Third, more gets done. A good facilitator will push to achieve outcomes, bring people back from unproductive tangents, and make sure that decisions are made. Now here are some practical qualifications you should look for when bringing in a facilitator. Number one, strong group dynamic skills. You want some, a person who is uncomfortable with silence, someone who can involve everyone in the process, someone who can diplomatically quiet down the more active participants. Second, no skin in the game. You don't want to bring in someone who has a hidden agenda or a preferred outcome. You want them to be neutral. Their only agenda should be making sure that you get a great result. Third, appropriate experience. Appropriate experience does not always mean industry experience. In fact, too much industry experience can be a drawback. Let me tell you why, because that seems counterintuitive. A person with extensive industry experience really is a subject matter expert. And they usually are not a good facilitator because they get so involved in the content of the plan rather than steering the process. I've been a planning consultant to government agencies, large corporations, small businesses, and nonprofits in over 30 countries. And surprisingly, about 80% of the issues that come up during the planning sessions are the same. My most important contributions have usually come from taking an idea I observed or learned in a totally different context and bringing it in to this organization. That's the way innovation occurred. Fourth, personal presence. It takes confidence and personal presence to silence an overactive participant, to confront diplomatically an executive who is perhaps interfering in his own best interests, or to make sure that a lingering issue is handled. By the way, the external facilitator does not have to be an outside consultant like me. It can simply be somebody outside the particular group. So large organizations often have effective, skilled talent in the HR function or elsewhere that can be brought in to assist your process. So, whether it's an aching tooth or painful planning process, be wise and get the professional help you need at the time you need it. If you enjoyed this video, check out others in our series at managementpro.com or strategicplanningacademy.com. Until next time, remember to think big, plan smart, act fast to get great results.